Why are some people who have trouble digesting wheat able to eat sourdough bread or wheat products made in Europe or Asia? University of Minnesota researchers are studying the fermentation of sourdough bread and the wheat varieties used in making dough in hopes of making a better bread. Jeff Beach gives you a taste. There's more that we don't know about fermentation than we do know, and it's a wonderfully complex uh, world. Brian LaPlante's journey into food research began when his young son started having health issues. Within 15, 20 minutes of eating, his blood sugar is, uh, would spike, and then 20, 30 minutes later, they'd crash. LaPlante and his wife started researching their son's digestive problems. LaPlante's brother Craig grows wheat on the family farm near Crookston, Minnesota. So he grew some ancient grains that they used to make sourdough bread, along with other fermented foods. They saw a dramatic improvement in their son's health. When you have fermented food in your diet, it has a profound impact on your microbiome. And I think that will be the trend is food will become your medicine again. LaPlante started a business called Backwind Foods that develops slow foods with less processing that LaPlante says are healthier. He's been working with researchers at the University of Minnesota. They're looking into how fermentation times and varieties of wheat affect digestibility. It would be, you know, a quality of life issue if they could, you know, get, get back to eating, eating foods that they enjoy. U of M researchers are growing about 200 varieties of wheat near Crookston in St. Paul. Wheat breeder James Anderson acknowledges wheat sensitivity has increased over the last few decades, but he says their research shows no increase in FODMAPs and ATIs. Right now, we're kind of pointing the finger more at the processing side of thing uh, for the increases in, in wheat sensitivity, but wheat breeding can contribute to uh, to reducing this problem too, just by lowering FODMAPs and ATIs in, in future varieties. Anderson says food companies and growers are enthusiastic about their potential for new varieties of wheat that more people can eat. Bonnie Larson has built a small business selling sourdough baked goods. She says she loves hearing from customers who can enjoy bread again. That's like the best feedback, the best um, news I can hear is when, when people who couldn't eat bread before can now eat this, this bread. This is Jeff Beach for Ag Week. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.